All right, what's going on, family? Want to uh, welcome you back to another real talk as we give the Most High all the glory, all the honor, all praise and worship. Uh, my title says, Do I believe Whitney Houston went to the lake of fire? This is a very um, great question, and I'm uh, responding back to you. Uh, I hope I say your name right. A uh, clearer, a uh, clearer, um, great, powerful, powerful email. I'm gonna say this. Um, first of all, when it comes to a title like this, I have to always be reminded of I'm not the most high, I don't know who went where. In that moment, before people take their last breath, um, I don't know if they got it right with the most high or not. So I have to say that off the top. I am not all knowing. Um, Whitney started out in the church, yes, just like a lot of them. Um, but first of all, let me say this too, because there is a difference between the lake of fire versus when you say hell. Um, hell is the grave. We all gotta go. To, we all gotta go to hell. The grave. Just catch what I'm saying. I'm gonna say it again. We all gotta go to the grave. It's just when you um, study the Bible, hell have the two different sides. You got you got the side with the righteous and the unrighteous. You got the gulf in the middle. Read Luke 16. That's why I don't say they went to the hell or, you know, uh, like some people say. Because when you teach hell that way, a lot of people think when you're saying hell, you are talking about the lake of fire. But there is a huge difference. When you look up the original meaning of uh, Sheol or Ghana, you know, or Hades, it's just the common grave, the dark place, the trash that era, you know, with the gulf in the middle, side for the righteous, side for the unrighteous once again. Um, but once again, like I was saying, um, I always say a lot of them in the industry, they want it out. And they, um, you can start seeing as some of them got older, some of them died young, uh, but if some of them, you know, was older than others, they was crying out for help. You know, even even with Michael Jackson, you could see the cry out, you know. But when you get something that takes a hold of you so bad, it controls you. You far gone like that. How can you hear from the Holy Spirit? See what I'm saying? How can you hear from the Holy Spirit? You're not even in your right mind. Whitney said, one time in an interview that when 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 the when it takes hold of her, there's nothing she could do about it. But see, the thing is, there is nothing in this world, in this life, there is nothing too hard for the Holy Spirit. It's just you cannot serve two masters. You're going to love one and hate the other. So I don't know where Whitney went. When she was in her last moments, I don't know if she prayed. I don't know if she repented. I don't know if she confessed. I don't know. I wasn't there. So I'm, I'm very cautious by talking about somebody went to went to the lake of fire because I'm not I'm not the I'm not the um, enforcer. <laughs> I'm just the messenger. But you can see from time to time when she was alive, the, the drugs got the best of her. Then you look at what happened with the, with the daughter. So many people in this life are caught so more on pleasing their fans. And they get caught up in the fortune and fame. That's why they cannot serve the most high. These addictions are nothing but demons. I'm listening at a broadcast the other day about this um, new movie that's coming out. Um, I forgot the name of it. But, I, but they was having a um, big discussion on, you know, diagnosing somebody bipolar with di with being bipolar or schizophrenic, you know, all this all this stuff the world throw these names out here, but you know it ain't nothing but you just fighting demons. But when you look in reality, that's what Whitney was fighting with. Demons. 
Why? Because she gave them demons an invite, and I love Whitney. You know, I, I hey, I pray for them, you know. JT, what you mean you pray? Yeah, I pray. I pray for a lot of people. I pray for people you you think I wouldn't even pray for, but then I also use my spirit to discern it. Because even in the church buildings, you don't know who's going where. See, the thing, the thing that's funny to me is so many pastors and, and religious folks, they always down in the people in the world, the celebrities and 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 the uh, you know, the rappers and everybody. But in reality, look at how many people in your own church. Look at how many people, pastors in the pulpit. Everybody ain't singing to the most high. Every musician ain't anointed. What about them? Hmm. See, when you, when you really think about what I'm talking about, can't none of us put none of us nowhere. You like the Bible say you better be working out your own salvation with fear and trembling. I don't know where we did wind up. Ended up at. This dude emailed me that day. He he said he had a dream. And in that dream, God showed him that Whitney was in the lake of fire. I ain't had that dream. I ain't knocking the dream. I'm just like, hey, that's that's what you saw in your dream. That's what you saw. But I'm going to close with this because I'm not going to make this video long. I keep saying this. There are three surprises about heaven. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. And I got this and I quote this from my Uncle T, Minister Robinson. You'll be shocked at who you see. You'll be shocked at who you don't see. And you'll be shocked that you made it in. That's why the Bible teaches you in Revelation the hell will be judged. See, right now it's just the temporary holding place. That's why the Bible say that hell will be judged. And then at that moment, that's when Yah is going to make the decision on who name is in the, in, in the book of life or who being cast into the lake of fire. That's not our job. All we can do is pray for people Wish them the best, encourage them, and get out the way. You can't save nobody. The Most High shows us this in Scripture. The Holy Spirit does the saving. We we do the drawing. We 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 give the tools. We give the word. We are the messenger. We are the angel, the messenger. But the soul saving, I can't save your soul. I can't do that for you. I can pray all I want, but I don't. I don't even. I can't pray you into heaven. So your salvation, that's up to you and the most high. I've done my part when I tell you what to do. And now I'm saying is what the Bible is telling you to do as the Holy Spirit speaks through me. I wish I could have sat down with a lot of them that died. I would have loved to have that chat with Tupac, Whitney, Michael, you know, Prince, a lot of them, you know. But then I have to ask myself also, would it have done any good? Or would it have still made the same choices they made? So that's why when the Bible tells you when you're in the city or town or wherever you're at and, and, and they don't receive you, just shake the dust off your feet and keep moving. Now, I know, I, I know I'm going to get a whole lot of comments that's going to say, man, Whitney ain't in heaven or Whitney in the lake of fire. But when you post these comments, ask yourself again, how do you know? How do you truly know who and where? Tupac didn't make it. How do you know? Hmm. Are you there? Are you, uh, have you have you been in that afterlife? Have you been in the grave yet? No. Are you are you the Most High God? No. I don't care how many degrees you got and how how big your church is, and you don't know. You can say what you feel all day long, but what you feel is it, it or my, my, my question is, even with what you feel, you don't make that decision on who goes where. If she made it, to y'all be the glory. If she didn't make it, it's some sadness. It's some torment. This should make you think about your own life. 
So great question once again, and that's the best way I'm going to answer that. And I love y'all, and y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed night. Shalom.